Hello and welcome back to the Rover Shack YouTube channel. I'm sitting down after Rovers record back-to-back -back victories for the first time since March 2023 with a 1-0 win over Cardiff City at Ewood Park. Really happy with the win, really glad we could get back-to-back -back wins. Quite coincidentally, Rovers two back-to-back -back wins since March have come after beating QPR away. We beat Sheffield United 1-0 at home last time and we beat Cardiff 1-0 this time. I'll run through the match, discuss the positives and the negatives if there are any. Kind of just look at how it went and if Rovers deserved it now. Rovers end up with Volstead in there, a back four of Hill, Carter, Hayam and Pickering, Tronstad and JRC in the middle, and then a front four of Britain, Somatic, Sigurdsson and Dolan. So one change from the QPR game with Britain coming for Markande. I were happy with the change. I think Markande uh, was okay at QPR, but I thought Britain really impacted the game off the bench. And he provides that defensive support that maybe I know Sigurdsson won't during the game. So really happy with that. Uh, and I thought Rovers started well. It was kind of a poor first half, really. There weren't much not. And then it come alive when, Keep, uh, when Cardiff sorry, scored from the corner. Now, don't get me wrong, Rovers have had plenty of decisions against them. And for me, this is one balancing out. As we said, the result, uh, the outcome's always balanced out. But if I were a Cardiff fan or a Cardiff player or the management, I'd be very, very frustrated by that. I think it were very harsh. Uh, I think Cardiff deserved to be 1 0 up with a goal, but it happens. I know, you know, I'm not just denying it or just dismissing it because I know if that were from a Rovers side, I'd be quite annoyed. But second half, Rovers come out and get a goal through some really good play. Ball comes up to Tyrese Dole and he brings it down and just threads it through to JRC, who scores now. JRC scored a hat trick from the midfield against Sacrington Stanley and did the same. He just ran through, put the ball away. And from there, I thought Rovers were quite comfortable. We got better, we grew in confidence. Uh, defensively, I thought we were quite strong. But the one thing I wanted to mention from a Cardiff perspective is that save from Leo Volstead. For me, that is what you need from your keeper. That is a match-winning save. And for me, just so, so happy for Leo. Let's give him a lot of confidence. I thought we're good with his feet today. We'll go into the play ratings on a separate video. But overall, I thought that save was just incredible, really. And if we can get a few more from him like that, it'll definitely be worth his tag. In terms of other players on the pitch, I was really impressed with Sandra Chonstad. I thought he controlled the midfield really well. JRC got his goal. It was just a solid Rovers performance. And yes, we maybe got a better walk, but we got three points and that's all that matters at the end of the day. We've said so many times this season about Rovers needing this striker. Keeping a clean sheet at the other end was just as key and it will be all season. You know, I don't think we're going to go and score four regularly like we did at QPR. I think there's going to be a lot of games where we've got to kind of hold out, be defensively strong and I thought we were here, back to back clean sheets as well so really happy with a win uh, for Cardiff fans I completely understand you'd be annoyed with that, let us know your thoughts on the game other than that decision down below uh, but that's where we round off, just a quick reaction there, we always beat Cardiff 1-0 we head on to Tuesday night trip down to Millwall uh, You know, the first of two trips down to the capital in the next week or so, really looking forward to it, I'll be down there, I'll be doing match content from the game Maybe a couple others on the channel will be doing some stuff as well, depending on how it goes. But we'll round off there. Thank you for watching. We'll see you for all the content building up to the Millwall game on Tuesday and the play ratings video tomorrow. And until next time, thank you for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe, do all that stuff for us. Really appreciate it. And we'll see you soon for a new video.